Chapter 3 is called Systems of Equations and Inequalities, which means systems mean, system means that there's more than one working together at the same time. A system is never one thing isolated by itself. It's always multiple things working together. That's what a system is. So this is systems of equations means more than one equation. More than one inequality. Okay? And uh, some of the lessons, uh, some of the parts are fairly simple, and some of the parts are much harder. Okay? Uh, definitely this one right here, 3, 4, 3, 5, these two right here are tough. Okay? They're tough. The first, th first three aren't so bad, though. Um, and this is the idea. This is the idea. We're talking about what have we been graphing? Mostly. Mostly Lines. what have we been graphing? Points. Points. What Box. Have... <laughs> <laughs> Mostly what have we been graphing? You said it right the first time. Lines. Lines. Box. Lines. And so now we'll be having equations, but we'll have two of them, so there'll be two lines. Lines. And the question will be. Where do those lines intersect? Now you need to actually watch me do this, this next one. So I drew one line, let me draw the other one. How many lines are there? Two. Okay, good. Let's make sure you follow. Okay. Alright, so there's certain kinds of scenarios that can happen with lines. In this scenario, the lines cross. How many times do they cross? Twice. They cross once. In this scenario, what, what are these called? Parallel. Parallel. How many times do they cross? Never. Never. I, I drew a line, then I drew a line right on top of it. So I drew two lines, but they're the same. same. So how many times do these go? Infinite. Infinite number of times. Okay. So when we're doing these things in 3, 1 and 3, 2, because they're both about lines, you're either going to have one answer, no answers, or infinitely many is what we call it. Infinitely many. You can't count how many there are. Okay. Uh, there are words to describe this that you'll see in this chapter. The word consistent. The word consistent means that there is a solution. There is a solution. Okay? What I mean by the word solution means that there's some place that the lines have in common. The solution is what they share. So does this have a solution? What is the solution, by the way? The point they intersect. The point they intersect. That's the solution. Does this have a solution? No. no. Does this have a solution? Yes. Yeah, it says infinitely many of them, has lots of them, but it does have at least one. Consistent means there's, an there's a solution, they cross at least somewhere. So this one right here would be consistent, and this one right here would also be consistent. Guess what we call this? Inconsistent. Inconsistent. Okay. And we'll have another word. Dependent. dependent. Dependent means that they're the same. Same line. Same graph. Same equation. Means that whatever one is, the other one is. That's why it's kind of dependent. It's like whatever you are, the other line is, it depends on the other one, kind of thing. So the word dependent means it's the same line. Which one is dependent here? Yeah, the one, the one that's on top of the other line, right? These are the same. This is dependent. So what do you think we call these two? Wow, isn't this tough? Independent. These are words, and I, I sometimes it absolutely blows my mind that sometimes you won't put in the work to learn two words and what they mean, and you get problems wrong on the test because you can't learn two math words. Right? This is all you need to remember. What does consistent mean? There is There's a solution. solution. Means they cross somewhere. What does dependent mean? The same line. The in in front means the opposite of that. So inconsistent. They don't have a solution. They don't cross. Independent. They're not the same line. OK? 
Okay? It's not that you will vomit. <laughs> why did I draw this? Because it's independent. You're tell them how we tell them how you drew that. Why did I do that, draw that? That wasn't even you're pointing at them. Because you're a boss. Oh, I was pointing at them. I thought I was like, why did I just randomly draw an absolute value grab? Like, because you're not a boss. <laughs> Okay, anyway, so these are the words, and they'll ask you questions. We'll see this kind of example in oh. All right, so the next thing is, and this is why this lesson is pretty simple, the way we're going to solve today is by graphing. graphing, meaning we're going to graph the two lines, and guess what we're going to say the answer is? The point. Where they, cross. they cross. Which means... If you know how to graph a line, just graph one and then do the other one and see where they cross. And then guess at where the point is. That's pretty much estimate. Solve the system of equations by graphing. Meaning, I'm just going to graph both of these. So, how many points do I need to graph a line? Two. Two. How many lines do I have? Two. 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 So how many total points do you think I'm going to graph? Four. You're going to do them separately. They are separate equations. So I'm going to take this first one, and I'm going to make a chart. One of the best ways to make a chart is to do the intercepts, which means 0 for x, 0 for y. So I'm going to plug in 0 here. Negative 2y equals 0. 0. So what's y? 0. Uh-oh, what do you think is going to happen here? 0. Well, that's not very helpful, because we need a different point, so just pick a different number. One. I heard one. Let's do it actually for y, just for fun. The reason I'm picking it for y is because then, then this just x minus 2, do you see it? We fall, rather than 1 minus 2y, now it just says x minus 2. Right? Okay. So x minus 2 equals 0. What's x? Two. two. So let me plot those two points. Zero, zero, two, one. Okay, there's that. Moving on to the next one. Yeah, this one's pretty easy. Zero, zero. If x is zero, y is? Y is? More than you need to say that. More than one of you need to say that. Y is what? Six. If y is 0, x is 6. six. Okay, this one's, this one's easy. Okay, these should add to 6. That should be the idea. So, oh man, I gotta make it, that's 4, 5, 6, 5, 6. So there we go, 0, 6, 6, 0. And then literally all you're gonna do in these problems is guess at where that is. What looks closest? 4, 2. 4, 2. 4, 2. Okay. Oh, <laughs> if you want to see if it has actually perfect, actually a perfect answer. Now, when we're grading the thing, we're grading this first assignment. If you're close, we're going to take it because it's by graphing, it's just by looking. But if you want to check to see if you're perfect, plug those numbers back in. They should work for both of them because that's the place where they're both at. So if I plug in 4 for x, x is 4, 4 minus 2 times 2, what's 2 times 2? 4. 4, 4 minus 4, is that 0? Yeah, sure. Yes, so that works. 2, uh, sorry, no, x is 4, y is 2, is 4 plus 2 equal to 6? Yeah, so that's the exact answer because it works for both. Okay, it works for both. So that's solving by graphing.